So Christmas is just around the corner and I already know that Christmas lists are being written. And gamers out there are definitely going to be asking for new mice and keyboards and mouse pads, gaming headsets and more accessories for their gaming careers. So with that being said, a company called Surefire reached out and asked us if we wanted to take a look at some of their gear. They've taken over my gaming setup for the past few weeks, giving them a proper test on a range of games from Overwatch 2, Warhammer Dark Tide, The Wandering Village, Hunt Showdown, and more. Here is what we thought. So let's start by talking about the Surefire Kingpin M2 keyboard. It's a full-size mechanical keyboard with a number pad on the right-hand side. There is an M1 version, which is pretty much a TKL keyboard. The frame itself is made from a galvanized metal, which gives the Kingpin M2 a real quality feel. It's super heavy as well, which was surprising when I first took it out of the box. It features multi-optional RGB lighting, and there is a partner software that you can download from the Surefire fire support page but more on that in a moment as it's a peculiar story you can use the keyboard shortcuts to set your rgb lighting effects and there is a guide on how to do that on the support page as well it uses mechanical red switches and actually feels quite nice to type on and the keys have this really satisfying click to them the only issue that i found was with the right edge of the enter key and that didn't match the tone of the other keys while they had quite a nice thud the enter key when hit across the right edge sounded a lot lighter there is a 100 percent anti-ghosting feature and the keys do feel super smooth to use while typing and gaming. There's no bottoming out on the keys and the actuation doesn't require much force at all to type. It's a smooth motion for the keys, up and down movement. It's actually a really nice keyboard to type on. I, I could pray, I, I praise it quite highly. So, software time. What was pretty strange was when I was trying to download the Surefire software from their support page so I could access features to the keyboard, my antivirus detected a virus. It wouldn't let me open the zip file whatsoever. And to be quite honest with you, in this day and age, I'm not about to start sticking exclusions onto my antivirus if it's already said that there has been a virus detected. You're definitely going to need to look into that Surefire because it's super off-putting being greeted with that kind of message from your own support page. Now, where can you buy this keyboard? Well, again, I'm not sure really. I went to their Amazon store, the Surefire Amazon store, and it wasn't there. Though they do have a secondary Amazon link that took me directly to a product page, which was very strange why it wasn't on their store in the first place. And what stranger is that the only other retailer listed on the Surefire website that had them was box.co.uk. None of the other links worked. Curry's PC World here in the UK, no clue. The link from their website took me to the homepage Maplin, well that company went into liquidation years ago. Now funnily enough though, the Amazon link takes you to a Kingpin M2 for £63 and the box.co.uk link are selling them for £46 from the link on the box.uk website. Very, very strange. Update your links. Now let's move on to the Buzzard Claw mouse. Now this one is a bit of a mixed bag for me. Now first off, it is a very nice size. I can grip it with a palm grip and when used with the Surefire Silent Flight mouse pad, love these names by the way, it glides across the surface really nicely and weighs just 133 grams. Though it's called the claw, it's definitely too big for a claw grip. Confusing a little bit, I know, but for me, it is a little bit skinny and I would have preferred a bit more of a dome shape, especially regarding the side buttons. The mouse is a bit convex and it feels like my thumb can't really rest against the side of the mouse comfortably. There is a rough surface, unfortunately not made from rubber, but it does have a hexagonal pattern for grip. The main body of the mouse is made from plastic, which is very smooth, but very prone to fingerprints. It has six buttons in total, a left and right click, a middle scroll and click, a DPI switcher below the scroll, wheel and two thumb buttons. It's for right-handed use only, which is pretty standard now in the gaming mouse world. The base does have two large smooth plastic feet at the front and rear of the mouse, which helps with the glide and the 7200 FPS sensor that's capable of up to 7200 DPI. The increments on the mouse are adjustable to 800, 1600, 2400, 3200, 4800 and 7200 DPI. There is also software that you can download, but my experience with the keyboard software has pretty much put me off from downloading 
downloading any driver from Surefire ever again. I do like, however, that you can assign colors to the mouse depending on the sensitivity that you have set. So for example, I have a yellow color against my 800 DPI setting, so I can easily tell when I'm in that mode. For the most part, I did stick to using the 800 and 1200 DPI modes, as these are really the most common for me when it comes to gaming. Tracking was pretty nigh on, accurate, and I was able to hit my shots in FPS games, and it was smooth for some nice movements across the mouse pad. Clicks were very satisfying as well, with very little effort actually needed to accentuate, and the switches felt solid. Now, I'm not sure on the exact switches used, in this mouse as their website doesn't mention this at all and the text on the box is just far too small for my eyes to even read glasses wearer after all there is a brady cable to keep snagging to a minimum though it was hard to straighten out properly and finally let's talk about the surefire mouse pad and as it says on the tin this is a gaming mouse pad it's pretty much made from the same material as any other gaming mouse pad on the market it's smooth and soft and made from polyester fiber and natural rubber and aids the mouse in gliding across the surface it's heavily branded with a surefire logo in the corner as well so whoever looks at it can definitely see where it's from it worked well with the buzzer claw mouse and i must say that the rgb effect that glows around the outside of the mouse pad actually looks all right it does require usb power and the cable included is an all right length of 1.8 meters there are multiple lighting modes which include eight static lights and six dynamic lights which include a full rgb color cycle and a few others that shuffle through several colors too there's no driver needed either which is cool seeing as i've had bad experiences <laughs> with the drivers so far you've definitely got to stick some heavy items on the corners of the mouse pad as well because it's not sitting flush to my desk from the box i left it for a few days on my testing table to flatten out but it didn't happen so squash it down a bit with something heavy the control box has a usb 2.0 interface not keen on this because in my experience those cables tend to break quite easily usb type c on your next iteration please show fire they come in two different sizes small and large mine here is 680 mil wide and has a depth of 280 mil so it is a nice size it's not quite big enough to comfortably put a mouse and keyboard on there i would have liked to have seen something wider but still it's not a bad size. So there you go, that's Surefire's new lineup of PC peripherals. They're not a bad pick if you're wanting to match your peripherals to the same brand to show that affiliation. Do remember though that these are not wireless items, so if you're someone who is very OCD about cables running down the back of your desk, do be warned. For this setup, I had three separate cables, one from each peripheral, and this can get a little bit messy. If you're looking to purchase your own Surefire products though, then head over to their website. The link will be in the description for you and there's also some Amazon affiliate links down below so you can head directly to purchase. On the website though, you'll be able to find the retailers that sell the items, but it might take a few searches before you find one that actually sells the items or even has them in stock. To purchase all of the items, I was looking at around 80 to 100 pounds depending on the retailer. As I said, there was a big price disparity between Amazon and Box.UK box.co.uk for the keyboard for example so as i said do your research first but if you're after some nice budget gear that feels nice and premium as with the kingpin keyboard and don't have huge amounts of cash to spend on the big premium brands then check out surefire i'm impressed for sure i just hope they sort their driver download issues out thank you very much for checking out this video review of the surefire pc peripheral gear that we have here if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos and also let us know in the comments down below if you've had any experience with surefire in the past how did you get around the driver download issue if your antivirus picked up that there was a virus included on there or would you avoid them completely and go for something else? Let us know other popular budget brands down below and we will take a look. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.